you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. In last video, we have seen what's new in JMeter 5.2 and also we have seen about performance test scripting in uh, Bolt protocol. So that is the newest uh, protocol have been added in the newer version of JMeter. In this video, we are going to see about how you can implement James path extractor to query the JSON responses. We have already uh, have an extractor for JSON, but uh, this James path is newer addition to the uh, post uh, processor. So for more details, you can visit uh, jamespath.org. You can read about the uh, documentation and the syntaxes. Now we shall see how you can implement that in uh, JMeter 5.2. So please note James path extractor is only available starting from 5.2 version of JMeter. Before we begin, let us add a element a thread group. Just right click on the test plan, go to add threads thread group. And uh, in this element, there are uh, visually, there are changes in the version JMeter 5.2. So as you see, uh, there is a checkbox added uh, called uh, same user on each iteration. So if you check this box, the same user will be iterated again and again. If you want to uh, simulate the different users, then you can uncheck these box. And also the loop count is uh, uh, infinite. So here, if you check this, it will loop uh, infinite times. If you want to uh, mention the loop count, you can uncheck and enter the value. So these are visually, there are changes in the third group element. Now uh, to uh, demonstrate the James path uh, extractor, let us add a dummy sampler. So here the dummy sampler and in the response data, we are going to use some uh, sample JSON file so let us use the uh, JSON and here just right click on the uh, dummy sampler, go to add and go to post processors and here you can see James path extractor, JSON James path extractor, just select that and uh, before we write anything in the uh, extractor uh, expression. Let us add a sampler, uh, debug sampler, and also let us add a listener, view results tree, okay, and hit save. And to know about the uh, syntax, so you can visit uh, jamespath.org, and here I already copy and pasted the JSON we are going to work. So let us paste again. And here uh, you can write your expression. And based on the expression, you can see the results here. And uh, there are a lot of uh, syntaxes available. You can go to this uh, James Path examples or James Path tutorial link to learn more. So let us write a simple expression uh, where we'll be retrieving the servlet name. So to write the expression, to begin with, uh, let us add a web app. And here instantly you can see the results. And let us continue with the expression. Uh, let us uh, extract this servlet. So dot servlet. And we are going to extract the servlet name dot servlet name. So here uh, it is showing null because the servlet is an array. So we have to use an array syntax here. So zero, the first element. And now you can see the value COFAX CDS, right? Now let us copy this expression and go to uh, JMeter and click on uh, James path extractor and uh, enter the variable of your uh, James path extractor. Let us say get name and the in, the in the expression just paste and the match number. We are going to retrieve the first occurrence and the default value if anything is not found, the default evaluables, you can say uh, not found. Okay, now hit save and let us run the script. 
and go to your debug sampler and go to response data and here you can see the name cofax cds and if you hit dummy sampler you can see the response data and uh, if you want to test your expression you can always do that using the uh, james path tester if you just select this and here you can write the expression and if you hit test you can see the value and here you can uh, try uh, different stuffs say for example uh, i want to retrieve the uh, web app dot uh, tag lib okay this one tag lib dot tag lib uh, tag lib uri okay and hit test here you can see cofax dot tld and here also the result also is showing cofax dot tld so if you want to retrieve any uh, everything you can use the syntax for the array uh, say uh, <coughs> uh, array star so it will retrieve everything and also you can slice and dice uh, you can do a lot of stuff using james path extractor so all you can uh, all you need is you need to visit the jamespath.org and uh, if you hit uh, James Path tutorial, you can see a lot of stuffs uh, going on here. Uh, slicing, projections, pipe expressions, multi-select functions. So everything is possible using uh, James Path uh, uh, extractor. So you can do a lot of stuffs uh, in this extractor. So uh, I hope this tutorial is uh, very helpful. So please let me know if you have any uh, questions in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.